everyone. Once again, it's eating time. Let's eat the spiritual food for our spiritual being. Amen. For the Lord Jesus himself said in the book of Matthew, chapter 4, verse 4, he said, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes out from the mouth of God. Amen. And so tonight, I will be bringing to you this message taken from the book of Luke, chapter 18, verse 1, where it says, And Jesus gave them a parable that men ought always to pray and not to give up. Amen. The Lord God will just bless His holy word. Amen. Beloved, our Heavenly Father is a loving God. He is full of mercy. Amen. And He doesn't want to see His children suffer, become a loser. He never pleased in that. And so, to His disciples, He's always giving them encouragement. And in this scripture that we are reading, our God is using the parable of the wicked judge and the widow. Amen. The wicked judge has no fear in God and no respect of any person. And the widow the woman, he wants justice for her adversaries. And this is the reason why the widow keeps on coming to the judge because he wants, she wants justice. The widow keeps on coming to him and she was never been distracted. She never quits. He keeps on coming because he, she has that great faith that one day she will receive it. Amen. And so it happened. It happened, beloved. Not only once, twice, or thrice, this woman keep on coming to the judge until such time that the judge surrendered. He felt tired, bored, troubled with this widow that keeps on coming to him. Amen. So what he did, he surrendered. He granted the desire of the widow. Amen. And so the Lord Jesus is using this parable for his disciples and even for us at this very time that we will also learn. Amen. Because you know, beloved, if you will quit, if you will stop in praying, Nothing will happen. And you cannot expect that you will receive something in answer to your desires. You can never. But if you can keep on asking, but if you keep on persisting and asking, Amen, you will receive you will get the answer. Your request will be granted. And this is what happened to the woman in the scripture that we are reading. And so God told his disciples that this wicked judge was able to grant the desire of the woman even though if 
He has no fear in God. Even if he has no any respect to anybody. But because of the of the woman's keeping on coming to him, this caused the wicked judge to grant his her request. Amen. Praise God. And so for us, this must be our life also. Once you have a need, and then it seems that nothing happens, don't give up. Continue. Continue. Because at the end, you will win. All of us are facing battles in our lives. Spiritual battle. In every battle, there is a loser. There is also a winner. Beloved, don't put yourself on the side of the loser. But always be positive. Put yourself on the side of a winner because we are a child of God. Not only that the Lord is always talking to us, accompanying us wherever we go, but He, dwelt, he dwells in us to make sure that in every place that we go, in every battle that we are in, because He is dwelling inside of us, Victory is assured. We will be a winner. Because greater is He, God, that is in us. Than every needs, problems in this world. Amen. And so in this scripture that we are reading, a very simple one. God's encouragement for each and every one of us. Especially if you have a greater need. Whether it is healing, finances, salvation, or whatever it be. Always be reminded in this word that God has given us. That men, you, me, and all of us, ought always to pray and never give up. Amen. Always remember this, beloved. We are on the winning side. The one who dwells in us, our Heavenly Father, through the Holy Spirit of God, is the champion, the winner, the overcomer. And so therefore, we also, as his vessel, as his temple, we are also a winner. Amen. So this is the only reason why. How to get an answered prayer. How to receive an answer from the Lord. These are the things. Continue praying. Never give up. Keep on praying and praying and praying. And never give up. Until such time, the answers is on your hands. Amen. And this is the word of God for all of us. Let us pray. Father God, we thank you once again for reminding us, Lord, that our victory and success depends on our attitude to, be, to continue in praying to you, Lord. To have that attitude to not to quit, not to stop, and never give up. Because for a winner, he will only win if he keeps on going. Thank you, Father God, for giving us this word. Help us to be a winner always. Because of you. Because of you who is in us. Thank you, Father God, for teaching us these revelations for us to be blessed for us to be victorious, for us to be an overcomer against all the works of the devil. Father, I commit to you these precious lives. Keep them always safe. 
protect, bless. Thank you, Father God. We give thanks to you. We commit everything unto your mighty hands. In the most precious name of our Lord Jesus Christ and the power of the Holy Spirit of God. Amen and amen. Praise God. Thank you very much for your time, beloved. Thank you for watching. And again, if you are still new in this channel, don't forget to share. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for you to be always updated with our next videos. Amen. Thank you for watching. God bless you always. Amen and amen. Thank <laughs> you.